Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link tree down below. Has the link to all of my social media. Also has the links to my YouTube pages as well. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, turn on your notifications. Also follow me across my social media platforms. I love going back and forth with folks. So with that said and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about a breaking deal that just happened uh, with the Detroit Lions trading Matthew Stafford to the Rams. Whew, listen. Whew. Listen, Detroit Lions just made a deal here. Brad Holmes, who's the brand new general manager for the Lions, this is his first order of business here. We all know that the Lions and Stafford came together, decided to, you know, amicably split. Uh, you know, so he was looking to be moved to another team. We all know Detroit's going through things. They just fired you know, their, their coach as well, they're going to have to change things around. It's probably They're probably going to go into kind of a full rebuild mode, really assess other talent, but their first order of business was moving on from Matt Stafford. There was a lot of rumors to where he could go. People talked about San Francisco. Uh, there were a bunch of other teams that were in the mix as well, being rumored to be chasing him, but the Rams were able to get the deal done. Now, the trade looks like this. Detroit gives Matthew Stafford to the Rams. Uh, the Rams give the Detroit Lions two future first round picks. Now, these two picks are the first rounder from 2022. And then the other first rounder that they're going to give up is from 2023. That's two first round picks for a 33 year old quarterback. Like, and I mean, Matthew Stafford, you know, he's had a great career. He's a solid guy, but still, you know, he's up in age. So the Rams are definitely dealing, but they weren't done. They are also going to give up a third round pick as well from 2021. And they also give the Detroit Lions QB Jared Goff. Now, <laughs> I know a lot of people look at this situation and go, yeah, Jared Goff, that guy's struggling. He was, you know, very up and down, didn't play very well. Plus, he has a massive contract. Why would Detroit take that on? Understandable, right? You look at him, maybe Detroit looks at him as a guy that they can maybe hold on to for a little bit as they continue to look and find the guy that they want to lead them to their next destination. People talk about that contract. Yes, he does have a contract. He's got a deal on him, but there's a potential out for Detroit in 2023. So they could potentially get rid of him and, you know, be able to move forward with the guy or, you know, wh whoever they have that they feel they can move forward with. Uh, in the process. So maybe they get a guy and bench him, sit him behind golf for a little bit, you know, have him on the bench learning under tutelage. And then when he's ready to go, they, you know, put him out there and move on from golf. That's a plan that they could have there. So whew, it's crazy to see Detroit be able to make this deal again. Matthew Stafford, 33 year old quarterback, a guy that, you know, definitely would gauge interest. And even the rumors before this trade happened, people said, hey, yeah, they're going to definitely try to get a first round pick for uh, Stafford, but did he get two first round picks and a third round pick? Whew, that's crazy. That's crazy. So it's a, it's a solid deal for Detroit. But when you look at this situation now, uh, because again, I'm all about the Jets here. So immediately I started thinking, how does this move impact the Jets? It does impact us because one, if you look at the value that they were able you know, to get back Detroit for a 33 year old quarterback, it starts to make you wonder, well, damn, if they got two first round picks for him, what exactly will we have to give up for Deshaun Watson, who we've been linked to constantly? Um, people, you know, Jets fans across the board are excited at the possibility of us getting this guy. We all know he's on the market. He's requested a trade, even though the Texans have said that they're, you know, they're not interested in trading him or they have zero interest and blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> we all know the general managers lie like that all the time in public. But if you're looking at a guy that's 33 and he gets two first round picks and a third rounder, Deshaun Watson is 25. He's a three-time Pro Bowler. Um, you know, he's healthy. He's an elite quarterback. He's a top five quarterback. You know, most, hell, you talk to some people in the league, they think he's the best quarterback in the league. Uh, what exactly do you get for him? He's in the prime of his career. And he's under a contract, you know, that honestly, when you look at some of the deals that are going to be coming, are you, you'll get him at a cheaper rate than you will some of these deals that we're, you know, that some of these deals that the other quarterbacks are going to get you know, coming soon. So you may be able to get him, you know, relatively cheap compared to some of the other guys that are around the league right now that are coming up for their deals and getting ready to sign because that number just continues to go north uh, for quarterbacks. So when you look at that situation, it's got to make you wonder like, okay, if Stafford is two first round picks, then, you know, what's Watson? I, I, you know, 
Like, I, I, I believe from the very beginning that we would not get him cheap if we did go after Watson, that he was definitely going to cost us quite a bit. But you look at this deal being done, man. Then the other portion of me starts to think about the situation with the Lions right now in the draft as well. They get more capital. They got two first-round picks and a third-rounder as well under their belt. Uh, you know, of course, they get Goff there, but do the Lions really believe that he's the future? Um, if they don't believe that he's the future, is the option of trading down at seven something that, you know, can happen for us, especially with the capital that they have? Would they be interested in Justin Fields? Would they be interested in um, in Zach Wilson? That's something else to, to think about as well. Maybe the Lions will want to move up and take Zach Wilson or move up and take Justin Fields. Um, and again, they have the capital. So maybe a trade can definitely come more into play now that they have more capital they're available. Maybe this is something that can truly benefit the New York Jets. Um, if not, then that's another trade partner again that is shut down as well because maybe the Jets don't want to take a quarterback. Maybe they're comfortable with Sam Darnold and they're just looking to garner more capital, you know, for future moves, more capital for this draft, more capital for future drafts as well. And now this is a trade partner that, you know, has kind of closed the door on us. We've talked about trading down. I've talked about it as well. Uh, there were a ton of partners that I talked about. Uh, Atlanta was a potential move, too, that I was thinking, hey, this might be a move that we could do. Um, there's some other guys as well down the board that I was looking at. Denver, uh, a lot of people were interested in that team saying, hmm, would Denver want to move up to two? That was an idea as well. Uh, but with, you know, with Detroit making the move that they make, maybe they kind of hedged their bets and said, OK, let's see what we can do. Even if we don't, you know, we're not able to move up or maybe the Jets want too much to move up, then, OK, we can sit back with golf and just wait and see what happens. Maybe we go into next year and say, OK, we're ready for the quarterback that's going to be coming out next year because we got this guy. We're not just, you know, out there with nobody. So this is going to be really, really interesting going forward. But this was quite a move by Detroit. But listen, I, I want to hear from you folks. OK, I absolutely want to hear from y'all. Please get in the comments. I want you to give me your thoughts about this move from the Detroit perspective. What are your thoughts about them being able to get two first round picks and a third rounder and, you know, get rid of Jared Goff in the same breath? How do you folks feel about that? What are your thoughts about the potential trade down? Jets fans out there trading down. Is that still, you know, something that can happen with, with Detroit? Do you guys still think that they would be interested in coming up from seven to two? How do y'all feel about that? Uh, you know, what are your thoughts about the Rams as well? Giving up two first round picks in that third rounder in golf. What do you guys think about them getting Stafford? Because that's one heck of a move too. You know, where do you folks think that this puts the Rams? And also, hey, how does it, how do you think this impacts the Watson trade if you want Watson? You know, is do you think that, that, you know, that capital that you need to give for him, you know, goes north now that this trade is done? So I want to hear from you folks in the comments. Please get down there, comment below. We're definitely going to go back and forth. I love talking football, folks. Whew, you folks have a good one. Peace.